We're supposed to uh, see the first birds here. The full virus will come from this side. We left the village of Skala to go out to uh, catch uh, fulmaros. We sailed past the northernmost point of the Faroe Islands. The fulmaros hunt is an annual catch, which is uh, only for about a week or so. These young birds on the mountain shelves in late August they are big enough to uh, leave the shelves and if they don't go by themselves, their uh, parents push them. At that point of time they are really fat and they are not able to fly because they are too fat to fly. Huh? So they kind of float around in the sea for a couple of days. And that's when we take action and go out and, uh, and catch them. This is uh, the old uh, feathers from when it was a very small bird. So, but it's still uh, pretty heavy though. So the only defense mechanism that the bird has is actually to try to vomit in my face. So I really have to make an effort to, to prevent the bird from hitting me. I was taught uh, the technique of pulling the head off with the stomach still attached to the head by my relatives. In Faroese it's called meadria. That means to, to pull out the stomach. And uh, the technique is that I break the neck and I actually pull uh, the head off in such a manner that, that the stomach will still be connected to the head and so I draw it like this out. Then all the fat that the bird intended for my face will go out with the stomach. Huh? So that makes the job of cleaning the birds much easier. I was uh, a boy when I did it the first time and all the relatives, all the family uh, participated in, in the action. Every time I go out, to hunt the birds or I go in the mountains to shoot a hare or something. My love and affection for the nature grows. Every time I go out to provide for my family, I am more in love with, with uh, the nature and, and want more to preserve it. I think they're really cute. I love them really, really much. but. I don't feel like I'm not supposed to, to kill them because I, I want to eat them, but I, love, I still love them. I don't think that it's fun to kill them. And it's just, if I don't eat that fulmaras, I will maybe eat a chicken instead, or a cow or something. What's the difference? We all have to eat and uh, when I go out hunting, it's for to provide food for myself and my family. I want to eat and my family has to eat and I, I go out to hunt to make that possible. I know what life uh, that Fulmaras has had and I saw it, I killed it myself, so nothing is hidden. And I like that. It's better to be honest than to be dishonest about where the meat comes from. Hey. Hey. It's normal to take about between 50 or 200 birds. That will be a normal catch for a household. When I say one household, I mean we take birds for my wife's family and her sister as well. Huh? The owner of the boathouse gets a few and my neighbors get a few also. So it's uh, common to take what you need for a family like ours, maybe we, we will take about 30, 40 
because we don't want to eat it every week. We're taking the feathers off like this, ripping the feathers off, and then we're burning the, the fur down beneath. And that's because we want to uh, have a few birds that are really, really fat. Yeah. 60 remaining birds we skinned. So we took all uh, the fat off and the feathers and the fur in one movement. Only the meat is left. This makes me hungry. This is a really beautiful bird. Good proportions, you know. When you eat pulmaros, to recommend people to have snaps with the birds because uh, the saying is that uh, if you don't do it your stomach goes all will be mixed up and you'll have a terrible time it's, it's more like an excuse to have alcohol In the process of burning the fur, it adds a flavor to the bird when we have uh, an extra flavor, which is very special. Not too much heat, otherwise you boil them. Boil them and then they get greasy, yeah? So the fat gets out. It's not good. These ones are going to be eaten tomorrow. The full Maros catch is a point where the summer is over. We have reached the autumn. Summer in the Faroe Islands is not natural at all. <laughs> See the dark high spot which is dark, more dark green and that is my secret uh, potatoes. It's more, more natural for us to experience dark and fog and rain and wind. When the sun comes and uh, it's warm, it's not the real us. So we are slowly adapting to our natural state of melancholy. I love the melancholy. A lot of melancholy creates a lot of force when the summer comes. All the power that you have uh, gained from being in the melancholy state of mind for a long time, it just jumps up. It's like a feather that explains our strange way of being in the summertime. Tonight we're going to boil these potatoes. Very, very good. This looks very good. Mother. It's always a mother somewhere. If not, she will be in your heart. When we went to catch the fulmaros, we went all the way from the bottom of the fjord and then we sailed from that spot all the way up past the northern uh, point of the Faroe Islands. It's like everything is available to the eye, the things that you're 
day consists of. Sometimes I see my capital, which is Toshan, the capital of the Faroe Islands, as this uh, melting pot, you know, where everything comes together. Uh, you can have urban life here, you can go to cafes and you can go out to dance and you can experience the art scene and only to a moment later you are out uh, netting of birds or killing a whale or fishing or uh, collecting your own potatoes. So it's all been provided for ourselves. That adds another dim dimension to uh, the meal. It's totally different when you sit and eat the food that you have provided yourself. And the taste is totally different than processed food. I feel very fortunate as a Faroe Islander. Salt is very good for absorbing fat. Yeah. I was visiting my grandfather today. Uh, I told him that we we went out to catch fulmaros yesterday. The first thing he said was like, uh, "Did you take many?" His eyes lit up like okay. Christmas uh, candles, you know, because he knew that he would get. A, a, a few. They're perfect now. Yeah. yeah. These are the potatoes that we uh, collected from the mountain this morning. Yeah, this is fat. It's about seven millimeters thick, the fat. If you're a bit sensitive, you can skin the fat off and only eat the meat. I hated fat when I was a boy. No, it's okay. There's no added flavor to the meat at all. And it tastes magnificent. See how beautiful it is here. Fat. Mm. What's your name? We're supposed to eat it now and forgot it. 